My name is Fila Jansa Vareinsberg, and I'm an attorney at Skuman Law Incorporated, based in Cape Town, South Africa, a firm where we proudly serve the legal needs of the entrepreneur. So today I'll be talking about insolvency of a company and the limited liability that directors might have in terms of the debts incurred. In principle, a company is responsible for the debts incurred of the company and the creditors are not to look to the entrepreneur or the business owner for payment of any shortfall arising as a result of the company's insolvency, as they are protected by a limited liability. So what if the company's liabilities exceed the assets of the company due to reckless trading, trading under insolvent circumstances, fraud or negligence? Let me explain. Section 76, subsection 3 of the Companies Act state that a director must exercise the powers and perform the functions in good faith and for a proper purpose in the best interest of the company and with a degree of skill, care and diligence that may be reasonably expected of a person in this capacity. The Companies Act in Section 218 continues to say that any person who contravenes any provision of this Act will be liable to the other person for any loss or damage suffered by that person as a result of that contravention. Section 22 further states that a company must not carry on business recklessly with gross negligence, with the intent to defraud any other person or for any fraudulent purposes. Also, not to trade under insolvent circumstances. This means that the director can be held personally liable and even face criminal charges by any affected party. It's also very important to note that this is not only during insolvency. In insolvent circumstances, the insolvent um, shall be guilty of an offence and liable to imprisonment for a period not exceeding three years if at any time before or after sequestration he conceals, destroys, mutilates or falsifies any information which could cause insolvency or at any stage dispose of assets before the insolvency occurs. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share and comment in the box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and newsletter. For more information, go to Skumanlaw or go to www.skumanlaw.co.za.